We're in Terrebonne Bay next to a Spartina marsh. It's the common marsh that we have, salt marsh. One of the beautiful things about Louisiana is that most of the things rely on the estuary and the offshore. So the blue crabs live in the estuary and also some offshore, but they migrate offshore to lay their eggs and then the larvae somehow find their way back to the best place to be in the marsh. Much of the research that was done on the Deepwater Horizon is out in deep water where the wellhead exploded and broke and the rig spewed the hundreds of thousands of gallons of oil. But a lot of the oil did come on shore and a lot of it, most of it, came on shore in the Louisiana marshes and on our beaches. So our consortium is looking at the effects of the oil spill on our coastal ecosystems. We have deployed on these three poles some crab collectors, the very small stages of crabs, the larval crabs, before they turn into what you can tell is a blue crab. And it's a very important part in their life history because this is when they recruit to the marsh. This is when they make it or don't make it. One of our findings is that the Louisiana wetlands are under constant attack from lots of things. Sea level rise, land loss, diversions, changes in water level, changes in hydrology. And there is a background level of oil in the Louisiana marshes because we are an oil and gas state. I think one of the important things to understand in coastal Louisiana is that the oil industry and the commercial fisheries industry work hand in hand. They both know that the other is important because just living off of the land is not sufficient. So we've known for a long time that we've got to, to work both parts of that into our social structure and into our economy so that neither side is harmed by the activities of the other.